Okay guys, if you have already sculpted your <coughs> model in ZBrush or Mudbox and then you extract all the detail like normal map and displacement map and then you want to paint the textures in Mari so how would you do if you have multiple texture map for example in here I'm going to uh, show you uh, how I uh, import all the textures in here so I click create and import I uh, go for 4k I have a lot of patch so it's 4k it's supposed to be a displacement broad or a displacement fine or whatever but I choose this one and the, the bit is 16 bit and the pass uh, this one so I will show you how to get all the map from uh, okay don't care don't care about that if you come to channel you have color and you don't have any texture the reason is because uh, you have all this like city city 4 patch and how would you get all the map that you have already generated from uh, uh, zebras or this uh, mud box uh, to put it over here so you can paint the texture easily I mean uh, you have seen a lot of tutorials especially from digital shooters and some other they just right click import the texture directly uh, it is the one UV patch it is not like I have a lot of this UV patch at all so how to do it it's easy just go to UV and here you right click you can either uh, go to the patch patch selection here by uh, pressing S hold on here you press S key and you can uh, oh, here you press S key you can select the patch you see you select press S key you can select each, each UV patch so each of it is a 4k uh, map I have like 8, 8k displacement map for each of that and then normal map it's 4k and the color is also 4k so only the displacement map that I go for 8k okay so you go to UV you select the patch here right click you import import into layer stack so if I come here to my media directory okay there it's right there and I delete all of this I don't need it this is a normal map so this one is I, I generate this map from my box so it's come out in like um, u1 v1 u2 mud box consider this to be u consider this to be v so this one is going to be u1 u2 u3 u4 until u10 and mari support only 10 in u space pad only 10 but if you go for v it's for eternity so i lay it that way so it's going to be in mari it's going to be like 1001, 1002 until 1010. This one is 1011, 1020, and consecutively. So in here, seeing as I like this one, it's going to be U1 V1. So I need to make sure that I choose the right one, which is the U1 V1. Import selected patch. Boom. You see the. Okay it now loaded correctly the normal map but I don't want a normal map I want a displacement map so import into layer stack I go back up uh, a level go to displacement this one because I will use the displacement displacement is an EXR 32 bit I will use that as a guide and a reference to paint my texture Ooh, uh, I look bad. I think normal map is better. My bad. I'm sorry about this. So I, I go back up. Normal map. Uh, this one is better. Okay. And then select this one. This one is U2 V1. Okay. Import into layer stack. U2 V1. Okay. Import. And this one is U3 V1 okay use 3v1 and how about how about this one so what about this one so you can count it one two three four five six it u6 v1 v2 so u6 v2 so you import into layer stack 
scroll down to U6V2 import boom you see it correctly rise at the map uh, where is that oh, right here yeah so I hope you get the idea let me play a game a jigsaw game so this one is 1 2 3 4 it U4 and V1 2 3 so this one is U4V3 let's see okay U4V3 for those of you who are an expert and know everything about that you can skip it or you do not need to watch this video this video is for those who are learning from the beginning and want to explore more about the possibilities of Mari and choosing between Mari uh, between Mudbox uh, map and also Zebra's map uh, especially when you are using Mari to paint your texture without having to depend on Photoshop I don't use Photoshop I switch totally to Linux for all my workstation uh, because I don't I, I don't use Photoshop anymore since version 7 I think Photoshop I oh know since Photoshop CS CS6 yes and uh, oh, there are some guy who are still using Photoshop here they are doing um, kind of storyboard or something so any program is good use it at your own I mean your own skill is important so this one is one two three four five six seven eight U8 V3 okay so import U8 V3 cool see now they are correct okay guy I think that will help you guy if you want to import your texture map as a reference especially with multiple patch like this and you want to paint the texture in the awesome muddy of the foundry just do it that way or if you have any other better way to do it just do it and now we have all the layers stacked in here and we can name it accordingly based on that for me I would prefer to test it and then I would name it like um, one by one so this one is uh, like like this one I would call it you one v one yes you one v one yes it's uh, when I import so okay thank you for watching and have a nice day